A special barbecue event being held in Great Falls today. Those who have lost loved ones to addiction gathered at Black Eagle Park to celebrate those lives gone too soon as part of International Overdose Week. Tommy, how are things looking? Thanks, Owen. I'm in Black Eagle right now at an overdose awareness barbecue going on. And the goal of this barbecue is not only to support those who have lost loved ones battling addiction, but to remind those who are battling to stay in the fight and that it can get better. This is just an important day. It's International Overdose Awareness Day. And I just wanted to give honor and to those who we've loved and lost. LaVon Grosser knows firsthand the struggles that go along with addiction. I was in recovery for 21 years. Um, then I got divorced. Um, I kind of my whole life fell off. Honestly, I've been back in recovery two and a half years now. And she has dedicated her life to helping others who are struggling. She does outreach for overdose awareness, naloxone training, and harm reduction throughout Montana. Best thing in the world was the opportunity to go into a career field where I was able to support other people who want to recover and other people who are suffering. On International Overdose Awareness Day, she teamed up with her church, Praise Tabernacle, to bring the community together. We want everybody to be free from everything. So, I mean, it just it just fits right. It just, you know, it's, it's a definitely a twin, twin effort. The barbecue has burgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, but most importantly, supportive people. You know, anybody who needs somebody to talk to, pray with, anything like that, we're just up here to support people. With sponsors such as Dynamic Recovery, Ideal Options, and the Little Shell and Rocky Boy Tribal Health Services, Grocer and the church hope that this is just the first of many community barbecues for addiction. So this is uh, wonderful. This is I think that we need more things like this to celebrate recovery and addiction, and, and also to uh, comfort those that have lost people uh, due to you know drug overdoses and substance abuse. You know. Now the event is just now getting started, but stick around because tonight they will be lighting off about 70 Chinese lanterns to light up in the sky to remember those who have passed. In Black Eagle, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.